my little donuts with pink glaze and sparkle sprinkles. That was a great introduction. How are you all this morning? I am in Rome for my last day. I fly back this evening and I'm going to meet the Pope. Just cash, little MNG with the Pope. I'm actually going for a meeting with him to talk about ways in which I can use my platform to do more and to spread a better message, not a better message, a deeper message. Um, which ties in perfectly with all the things I've been talking about lately on my vlogs. If you watched the vlog about um, having a homey day in the sunshine with Darcy, I talked about how I wanted to kind of rebrand Sprinkle of Glitter and Sprinkle of Chatter and um, just have it grow a little bit with me because as I'm thinking about more things, I'd like to be able to put them on the channel. And or, although I want to keep the light entertainment and fluffy element of it, as well as like style and beauty and fun and collabs, I also want to have a discussion with you about things that um, are perhaps more intellectually stimulating or um, more about society as a whole or our place in society or the things that we can do for, you know, for good. Um, so I'm really excited for today because not only is it a huge honour to meet the Pope and to just be in that environment, it's also something that I've been thinking on a lot anyway. <sighs> said that all really quickly. <laughs> I know that Google uh, have a production team and they're filming stuff and they've said that we can have some of the footage from that so hopefully I'll be able to slot some of that in. So if at some point you see that the quality of my vlogging suddenly <laughs> improves in a crazy amount, it's not me doing it. You know it's not me improving, you know it's someone else. Something that I just wanted to tell you is that when we got the email about this, this was only like a week or two ago so this has all been like planned very last minute and we were told that we could take a gift to the Pope to represent something about ourselves or um, about our channels and so for example like one of the gamers he's going to present the Pope with um, a game um, and things like that and so I thought for ages what could I give to the Pope that represented my channel so I thought like I can't give him a lookbook um, could I give him a picture of me and Darcy? Could I give him like a goodie bag of makeup? Um, and then I spoke to my dad and came up with the idea of I would give him all of you. So um, I have this little folder here and on it it says a gift from Louise Pentland. It's got my little logo on. It says a gift from Louise Pentland to His Holiness Pope Francis, May 29th, 2016. My gift is a short collection of emails that I've re received across a period of time from my viewers of my YouTube channel Sprinkle of Glitter and Sprinkle of Chatter. Each email is represented of the many I still receive to this day. I wanted to give them to you to show God's work being carried out through the modern media of the internet and the social platforms on it. So, if you sent me an email in the last few years um, and it was a particularly deep one or a long one or you poured your heart out into it, just know that um, they might be <laughs> in the Pope's hands now because the thing that represents sprinkle of glitter the most is not style or makeup or me and Darcy but it's you. I'm gonna get really emotional. It's you the community and you the people that watch and you the people that have these communications with me but also with each other. I've seen you interacting with each other especially on Twitter and in the comments and stuff like that so it's you guys that represent sprinkle of glitter so when I'm meeting the Pope today I'm not just sitting there thinking I'm Louise Pentland and I'm meeting the Pope. I'm thinking I am I suppose the head of this community and we are doing this as our community so it's an honour for all of us not just me um but this is my gift to him we're on the bus the atmosphere is excited everyone's looking really smart we were told to wear all black um but yes they but the day before they said that we could wear something that represents us so i've gone for this not for black but you know modest still she says showing a cleavage I'll sort that out, don't worry. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a little bus montage because you've had that for like two days running. Um, so I just thought I'd show you just a bit of what it's like up the front row uh, near the water. But this is best for like views because look what I can see. Everywhere you go in Rome, there's all these like insane, massive pieces of art and statues and stuff. And I feel like I'm in something medieval, which is the most stupid thing I've said all day actually, because of course it was the Roman, this blur, steeped in history. But I feel a bit like I'm at King's Landing and I don't know. This is very exciting. <laughs> It's a face of bow. Remember that? Let me know if you got that reference. 
It's my house. <laughs> this is Jamie from Jamie and Nikki, by the way. They have a tiny baby, so that's a fact about them. And also, show me your tailored suit. <laughs> okay, so, so they travelled all the way from Australia and got my suit tailored at the hotel. Can you believe that? So no. I bought this suit last minute because they told us that we needed to wear a suit like an hour before we got on the plane, pretty much. Yep, yeah, same, and, same. And so I ran to the shop got a suit and then realized I need to have that tailored. So I went down to the lobby and they, I said, where can I get a suit tailored? And they said, here. And they said, this little old this is living, isn't lady it? up to my room and pinned me up. Voila! Well, that's a different kind of service you're speaking about there, Jamie. Pinning. <laughs> okay, I've lowered the tone. We're off to meet the Pope. We've arrived and we've, we've been told to dump our bags for like me, Hilo and Dulcie are like, you know, got to get our makeup on and like the powder on and get our lives together. Yeah. Um, because we can't take anything in. I feel like we're going into the jungle. Like, okay, what, what can we, what do we need to do right now? Because we've got to like, kind of smuggle in a lipstick in my bra kind of thing. It's all very exciting. I'm here with Nikki from Jamie and Nikki. We're not really meant to have cameras. There's a lot of officials here, but I've snuck in. This is the room where we're going to have a presentation. Wow, this is plush, the carpet. It feels plush. So this is where the public audience will be. The lady just said. Where will we be? On the left. Oh my goodness. Is everybody else going to be watching our questions? Uh, so the like for the private audience? No, that would be well, just for you. Oh, so okay. you will have like the footage. Oh, okay. In exclusive. Okay. Yeah, I heard baby. I was like, it's a baby. <laughs> everything you were saying, I was like, the baby's here. <laughs> Screw everything. A baby's arrived. It's like when you're a kid and a dog runs into the playground, and there's no greater <laughs> joy than, than than an animal being in the play. I've got distracted. We're at the Vatican, guys. Guys, Dulce just told me George Clooney is in the building. <laughs> George Clooney. George Clooney is at the Are you sure? Yeah, there is. Are you sure? That is nice. And his wife. Okay. Nobody freak out. Nobody freak out. except you. Nobody freak out. We're now looking at the seats we're going to be given. Um, George Clooney. I, all I can think about is the fact that George Clooney is here. Pope and George Clooney. This is a crazy day. We're rehearsing going into the room. How are you? Good to see you. Here's my seat. Did you have a good evening? Louise. Good morning. Good afternoon. Oh. oh. Louise. Reno. Unido. That must be in the United Kingdom. Okay. That's where Pope Francis is going to sit. A lot of cameras. A lot of excitement. Hello. <laughs> Let's do this. Rehearsal, not the main thing. Being mic'd up now, we've got a few minutes till Pope Francis has arrived. Everyone's practicing their questions, we've got some practicing going on there. Um, some people are having their interviews. I've already had my interview with The Guardian, which was amazing. Um, I think it was The Guardian, anyway. Um, and in my um, translate thing put in. Hello. Um, and the, the atmosphere in here is like the coolest thing ever. I wish I could experience this every day. It doesn't feel nerve wracking, it just feels super exciting and official and like we're on we're doing Thank something you. amazing. Thank you very much. Um, I'll put this in so I can understand because Pope Francis is going to speak in Spanish, I think. Y Luisa de Inglaterra, del Reino Unido. ¿Ves una cosa, Luisa? Yo te esperaba de rosa. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. ¿Por qué? Porque me preguntó si podía venir con una pollera rosa. Digo, mientras no me lo pidas a mí, no hay problema. Trae. Thank you. Me interesa mucho a ella la motivación de los jóvenes. ¿Cómo despertar para que los jóvenes tengan motivación? Tu pregunta. Good afternoon, Pope Francis. Thank you so much for having us. It's such an honor to be here. My name is Louise Pentland, I live in England, and I have two channels where I talk about style, beauty from within, confidence, and motherhood of my beautiful five-year-old daughter, Darcy. One of the things that strikes me most about my audience is how caring they are. They constantly show 
me and my daughter and each other love and support, and I think they're yearning to show each other more. What practical advice do you have that I could offer them for how to show more tolerance and love to each other and those around them? La agresión siempre es un signo de inseguridad. Una persona que agrede, en el fondo, es insegura. Entonces, la mejor ayuda es neutralizar las agresiones. No, queda tranquilo. Hablen, hablemos pero bajar rápido el nivel de agresión. La agresión eh, tiene una, un progreso, una progresión geométrica. ¿no? Una vez que uno entra en las agresiones, empieza diciendo una palabra bajita y termina insultando a toda la familia. ¿no? Va subiendo, 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 subiendo. ¿no? Eh, Nosotros en Argentina tenemos un dicho que se llama pinchar el globo. Eh, hay que pinchar el globo de la agresión cuanto antes. Las personas que... Y eso con buenos modos o escuchando que se termine de desahogar y después haciendo una pregunta suave, pero bajar siempre el nivel de agresión. Porque una agresión trae la otra y la otra y la otra y la otra y, de, y de terminamos destruyendo no sé si esto era más o menos lo que tú preguntabas y me alegra el bien que haces con tu trabajo que va en la línea de la belleza y eso es una gran cosa predicar la belleza y mostrar la belleza ayuda a neutralizar la agresión thank you I very much appreciate your wisdom it's my pleasure I appreciate the belleza que tiene la respuesta Bueno, y... So we're in a public presentation now, but mostly I just want to show you George Clooney. Oh, oh, hi. That's my dad. <laughs> Por, eh, por bueno, agradecerles que sea Argentina. Travel back there as tourists. And so uh, we, we just like to thank you on behalf of that. And then if you could fill us out for the surfers of the world, it would be a monument. The Pope is signing a surfboard. These are the children that have taken part in the Scholar Citizenship Program. <laughs> Okay, I'm at the airport now. It's all done, it's all over. What an incredible day. I've been spending a bit of time having a think <clears throat> about how that went and the the Louise in me can't help but like find all the faults in it because I feel like <clears throat> a few things didn't really go quite as we'd have planned. So I'll, I'll say those first but then I'll say all the good things. So I felt like um, the selfie we took. <laughs> There's just my little like half of my head and I was looking at the wrong camera so you can just see like this much of me going like Bleh. So I was a bit sad about that because obviously I wanted a nice picture with him and also my top wasn't tucked in properly because I'd had I'd been mic'd up so the wire had like messed up my top so on on the official footage my top's gonna look all funny. <clears throat> And also my dad didn't get to meet him and I was, um, we were told that there might be time for family and friends to meet um, the Pope, but he, we didn't. And the reason was, so all the good things come in, <coughs> I was told by an official that usually the Pope gives people approximately 11 minutes and we had an hour and it was amazing. It was so interesting to hear his words of wisdom and no matter what your religious faith or your background, I'm a Christian, I'm not Catholic, but I am a Christian, whatever your background is, whether you 
believes that he is, uh, whether you believe everything, he is still a very wise, compassionate, loving man and you can't, you can never get enough of hearing from those sorts of people. Um, and, he had a, and he inspired me to spend more time talking to you about the things that matter. It's great that we talk about all the fluff and all the interest, like the, the like light entertainment fun stuff, but it's important that we talk about the deeper issues as well. Um, also, um, everyone got their moments, so it was really lovely, and I felt like he was really engaged, and he seemed really interested in wanting to help the world and help young people. So that was great. So that far outweighs the, the rubbish selfie. Um, and then we watched a presentation of Scholar's um, representatives to the Pope. That's what that was with the surfboard and the tree and the footballers and George Clooney and Richard Gere and um, Selma Hayek was there as well. It was all a bit mad really. And then I had a little cry in the taxi because it was a bit overwhelming because I've been gearing up to this for so many days and like it had been the whole focus of the whole weekend and I don't know. I don't. I think it's normal to feel that way. I feel like that way after a live show actually. I always go back to my room and like either sleep or cry because I think it's the like come down off it so I'm feeling a bit wiped out now but I'm sure we'll talk about it more in videos because it's definitely not a one-time thing of like one time do good like you're gonna do good forever um fun story for you and then I'm gonna end it gosh it's a bit loud um there was a girl there I think her name was Olivia I heard a dad call her Olivia and as I was leaving the auditorium she was like Louise Louise and I had to rush because I was desperate for the toilet so I was like wee myself I was like I'm sorry I can't and then I was in the foyer and I was running with my dad to get somewhere and she went Louise Louise and I went I'm sorry I'm so sorry I can't and then the irony was I was running with my dad because we thought we were going to meet the Pope and have a picture with him and I just said to someone no who had ran after me because she wanted a picture with me so I very quickly stopped and ran in heels back to that girl because I thought I know how she feels I'm feeling it right now so even though I can't have the picture of the Pope that I wanted I'd like to have that picture with her that she wants so it was a nice it was a nice full circle moment it was like a nice opportunity for me to see things from the other side gosh I hope that doesn't sound like I'm comparing myself to the Pope because I'm not I'm just explaining an interesting situation I'm really tired I've got a headache um, so I've got changing out of my pink fluffy skirt into this ye old one. The pink fluffy skirt, there's a picture of it on my Instagram, um, it was from Chi Chi London, they sent it to me as a gift, I was like yes, they are like can we send you some clothes, I was like yes, yes you can. So now Dad and I are going to go and get on our flight, Dad's got changed out of his suit, um, how was that getting changed out of a whole suit in a toilet cubicle? Oh he often does that apparently, it's James Bond, so we're getting changed in funny places. Oh, he said he's dancing in the open air. All right, you exhibitionist. Um, and yeah, all right. Now I want to get some food and get on my flight and go home. And tomorrow I'm seeing my baby, who's my favourite person in all the world. Um, so I shall bid you farewell. Gosh, this is going to be a long vlog. I hope you don't mind. If you've got all the way to the end of this long vlog, then comment with I want to spread love and unity in the world and then a heart symbol and I'll know that you got to the end and also you would have said a good message um, so this is it for this I might film tomorrow actually because I haven't filmed any homey stuff for a long time since that sunny day the other week so yeah I'm gonna film tomorrow as well I hope you've enjoyed all these vlogs I love you lots and I'll see you all soon thanks for watching bye